Well, hey, everybody. It come of a egg. Just making a quick video today. I don't know how quick it's going to be. Uh, basically, I'm showing off my PC. We'll call it a PSA reveal video. Although these aren't brand new slabs. This is my New York Yankees in PSA slabs PC. I'm going to show off 20 of them. If you like what you see, well, uh, then I might do my BGS Yankees video next. Uh, just depending. So anyway, we're going to get started right off with some PSA DNA. I always go from uh, newest to, uh, I mean, oldest to newest. So I am a Bernie Williams super collector, and I bought this card raw off eBay. The guy swore up and down that it would pass and sent it in and uh, got it PSA DNA. So very happy. Although I am a Bernie super collector, I only own two Bernie Williams autographs, and that's one of them, an in-person autograph that someone got and I bought from them. Next, one of my favorite cards in my PC. Again, a friend of mine bought this from somebody who swore up and down that it was real. It certainly looks good. Mr. Jeter has a very distinctive signature right up to the edge of the card. And this also came back from PSA DNA. I know they charge you depending on how much the guy costs. So Derek Jeter is one of the more expensive guys to send into PSA DNA. So I was really glad when that came back and looks great in the collection. And then, of course, uh, one of the most iconic Yankees around, Reggie Jackson, this 95 upper deck. I think this was an insert that already came autographed, but is what it is. Picked it up in the slab, didn't have a Reggie auto, and, and just wanted to have one, so I'll show that off as well. Those are my three PSA DNAs I'm going to show off today. The rest are PSAs. So let's see what we've got here. First, a mint nine on this super shiny Miguel Andujar refractor. Love that card. Really sweet looking rookie card of Miguel Andujar. Hope he still plays for the Yankees next season, but we'll see. Next, another shiny, uh, what is this? A Bowman Mega Box refractor. This one came out of Gem Mint 10. But it's Blake Rutherford, and he's no longer a prospect for the Yankees, so this one will go for sale. All the rest of the cards I show are just going to be PC. Pulled this one out of a pack, and when he uh, first became super hot back in 2017, I sent this in for grading. I was very happy to get a Gem Mint 10 on this Aaron Judge Classic Tops rookie card. Uh, kind of his uh, regular standard Tops rookie card. I'm going to put that in the back here. All right. Then the debate rages on. What's a guy's real rookie card? His first tops card that he shows up on? Or his Bowman prospect? And this card is five years earlier than this one, but he's in his full Yankee uniform. Really dig the Miguel Andujar. Top, I mean, Bowman Chrome. Got a Gem Mint 10, so this will go in the PC. Certainly glad to have it in a very good-looking card. Next, from that same set, just the paper, not the uh, chrome rookie card, but I got this Aaron Judge. So again, what's his real rookie card? His 2017 tops or his 2013 first ever Bowman card? I go with the earlier card. That's just my opinion, but can't hurt to have them both in a Gem Mint 10 in the collection. This next one I'm really happy about. I got a ton of views on the video of uh, my buddy Jeff 3 million getting back his PSA uh, cards, and it took a lot, took a lot of uh, dealing and wheeling and some vintage and some, I gave him a case hit and some autos and a couple of slabs and some cash, but I ended up getting the blue wave refractor. So no argument here. What's between Tops and Bowman. This is the clear cut sick card. Love this draft picks and prospects. First Aaron Judge card. Back in Bowman Chrome. Gem Mint 10. Certainly glad to pry this out of Jeff's cold, dead hand and get it into my collection, which is where it'll stay. And I love this, the old Piedmont backs, like the uh, Honus Wagner tobacco card. But this one was in 2009 from that Topps T206 set. 
Just a small little mini card here of Babe Ruth, but loved the way it looked and thought it would be a great candidate to have in a slab. Card like this just kind of belongs in a slab. Thought it was cool looking, fairly low pop, but not an old card, but an old looking card. Actually says Boston on it, but you know, he's a Yankee and that's where it belongs and that's where it'll stay. We'll put you up too. And why is, uh, why is this judge down here? Get the judge up. Hey there, Judger. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Shout out to my buddy Joe and any insomniacs that might be watching. Next is from the uh, 1996 Tops Mickey Mantles. For a while, I was going to try to put this whole set together of Gem Mint 10s, but kind of got derailed, and value-wise, these don't... Uh, really sell for anything raw, but in Gem Mint 10s, they're nice, fairly hard to get, more grade 9s, but these are kind of cool reprints from the 1996 top set. Glad to have them in the collection, and that's where they'll stay. Next, from a horrible, terrible-looking set, 1995 Fleer Baseball, we've got the Team Leaders subset cards. These were the hardest of the tons and tons of inserts that 95 Fleer had to get. Two players on each card. Love the Donnie Baseball, so that's in my Yankees PC, my Don Mattingly PC, my PSA Slab PC. Didn't care what it graded, and that's good because it graded an 8. But, uh, yeah, looks good. Glad to have it. Next... I always say, you know, I'd love to PC Mickey Mantle cards, but I can't really afford Mickey Mantle cards. So I PC his drinking buddies, Whitey Ford and Billy Martin. I'll do another video just on my Whitey Ford stuff because got a pretty decent collection of him. But here's an on-card Billy Martin auto. Some poor sap said to grade the card. So this has a four. A four is the grade on that crappy dog-eared 1996 Topps card, but I don't care. It was a Billy Martin auto. I think the low grade scared some buyers off, so I got it on eBay for a hell of a deal. Uh, my one and only Billy Martin autograph, I didn't want it on like a business card or an A's card or a Rangers card. It had to be a Yankees card, and I remember this card from childhood. So uh, yeah, really glad to have that in the collection. And like I said, uh, I can afford to collect Mickey Mantle's drinking buddies. So that's what I do. Then another classic iconic card. This one's of Don Mattingly, 1984 tops. Pretty sure I paid less than the price of grading a card to get this near mint to mint eight. Really love looking at it. Kind of reminds you of childhood. And, uh, yeah, fits very nicely in the Yankees PC, so why not? Then this one, I wanted to get myself a 1962 Topps Venez Venezuela card. Uh, they're, they're pretty rare. They're kind of hard to get. They don't grade really well because I think they're made of a flimsier card stock. So this is my one PSA 1 card. Uh, of all the guys you can get, you know, you got that Babe Ruth special, so... Nice to get a babe. Horrible corners, but Old Glory is still looking good. Beautiful card from 1962, released in Venezuela. And then heard a story about these. These packs were made very cheaply. They were uh, thrown four in a pack, and then they used actual glue, actual adhesive to close the back of the pack. So um, you can look at it like, hey, 25% of these cards, uh, one out of every four, has this long, ripped up uh, stain on the back. As you see, everything is written in Spanish. El Bambino del Niño. And the way I like to look at it is this is a rare. This is a, uh, you know, special uh, short print. Only one out of four cards had this stain on the back. Only 25% of these cards have a, a ripped up back. So it makes it a little more special. Shout out to Victor Negron. I saw this card on eBay for like 34 bucks. I was like, what the hell? Thing had like 10 watchers. Everybody was watching this thing. More than 10, a lot more watchers. So I said, watch this. And I bought it. Hey, watchers. 
Nobody wins by watching. Uh, also picked this up at my uh, LCS raw for a very good price. It's in decent shape. I think it may be getting a little bit better than a three, but sent it into PSA in a group submission. Love the color on this Billy Martin second year, third year, I don't know, third year, probably third year Billy Martin card. It's an error. It's got his uh, fielding average incorrect, but uh, beautiful color, beautiful vintage card of Billy Martin. Had to throw it into the PC, so... Got it, a deal on a raw card, and now I'm just out the price of grading. And then, yes, a Billy Martin rookie card. This is a card I wanted growing up. It was always one of the real expensive cards in the baseball card shop's case. It's one of those, uh, too rich for my blood, that's a card I'll never get, but maybe miscut left to right, and in a PSA 4, I can afford that. This came up on auction after I'd been watching... 52 tops Billy Martins for about a year and a half. Finally jumped on this, got it at a great price, and uh, will take a proud place in my New York Yankees PC. So there you go. Next, want to give a shout out to Yankees cards. My buddy Jerome, back about three years ago when I was first starting on uh, YouTube, uh, he noticed me, hit me up, let me know if I could use this beautiful Bobby Brown 1950 Bowman card. I did a whole video on it years back and gave a whole background on Bobby Brown and all the things he'd done and accomplished career he had. For a while, this was my oldest Yankee card, so... Uh, wonderful to have this in the PC. This is PC for life. It's never going anywhere as it was a, a gift from the president of the YouTube card collectors uh, group here, uh, Jerome. So shout out Jerome. And then what actually did become my oldest Yankees slab, I picked this up in a lot of a few 1949 Bowmans. It just looked good. I love that red back. I think the Jackie Robinson card in this is, is, is one of the finest baseball cards ever made. So I sent in my Frank Shea. Very good looking card. No staining, no paper loss. Nearly perfect centering. And this came back an excellent five. So kind of hard cards to get good grades on, but this becomes my oldest Yankees card in the PC. I got that here as well. So thank you for watching my 20 card PSA reveal, all Yankees, all the time. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe a BGS one coming soon. Uh, another mail day coming soon. Maybe a new auction coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank all of my subscribers. And remember, as always, Epstein didn't kill himself.